They'd had a row after he refused to go back to the airport with them, so they decided to just go on ahead without him. What do you make of this, Jane? Absolutely right. That's what I would have done. I mean, it, 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 what I would have done differently, and in fairness to them, it looked... He ran out of the hotel off down the road, so I assume that they didn't know where he'd gone, so they couldn't give him some money. What I would have done is said, right, you're such a lippy so-and-so, here's, you know, a hundred quid or whatever, get yourself a room tonight and you sort yourself getting back to getting back home. Not having the whole family held to ransom by the strop of a of a seventeen year old boy, mm. but it's astonishing. I mean, maybe it's a Spanish law. I'm not sure what would happen over here. Yeah. But we've got seventeen year old boys in this country that go on gap years with their friends around the world and go to Magaluf for the week and whatever. So, the notion of a seventeen year old boy being abandoned, I don't. I, you know, yeah. if it was and, a thirteen year old yeah. boy, it'd be a different story. And the other children put into care. Yeah, for a night. Just for, for, one, just night. for one night. Yeah. It just does seem very extreme. I actually think the right thing to do would be to say, if you're staying there, right, you stay there. You know, I've had it and I'm off to the airport. But I don't know if I'd be able to because mm. I'd be so worried about what could happen. And I presume that's what must have happened in the hotel. The hotel yeah. rang police and said, uh, we've got this kid here <laughs> and uh, we I don't know, know what to do with the it. The parents asked... Yeah. No, the parent... He ran out of the hotel. So the parents said, could you help us find him? They couldn't... The hotel... The hotel couldn't find him, the parents couldn't find him. And then the parents said, well... Our flight's about to leave, and there's four, there's five members of the it's family. It's a lot of money. Mm. It's a lot of money. Uh, you know, three other kids, and they said, "Well, we're going." So but the hotel then went, "Okay, like, there's yeah. a boy wandering the streets. We'll better call the, call police. the police." But yeah. if they knew he was like that, because my son was like that at 17, well, he might be a bit like that now. <laughs> um, but literally, I think I'd have grabbed him by the hair and I'd have booted him in the taxi, and I'd have said, "You." Bloody You'd have to catch him first. Come with me. <laughs> well, I believe me, I'd have done that. I really would not have left him there. He'd have come. Have you ever been in that situation? Yes, I, I have been in that situation, yeah. and I did drag him into a taxi, and I did kick him in here, and I said, <laughs> hey, you can keep your mouth shut all the way there and all the way back. What was that journey like? Because it's already bad enough, isn't it, with a well, moody teenager on a plane? My mother was with me, and she, she helped me a great deal, actually, because all the while to the airport, she was shaking her head. <laughs> You're going to have to do something with him, Hillary. He's becoming uncontrollable. <laughs> Are you seeing the angst you're putting your mother through? <laughs> so, uh, no, I definitely would not have left him there because it wouldn't have been worth the anguish I'd have had subsequently. Yeah. And I wouldn't have given him. I'd have made him get in that car and come what come may, he'd have mm. been in that airport. I think it's really interesting because in the heat of the moment, as a parent of teenagers, you don't necessarily know what you would do. You know, in theory, hindsight is yeah. all well and good and, yeah. you know, and, and, and chatting about it afterwards. But in the heat of the moment, when they're being a little you-know-what, I can completely understand why you go, do you know what, <laughs> clever clogs? <laughs> Find your own way home. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know if I would have dragged them and given them a thick ear, as my dad used to say, yeah. you know, and get in the car and while you're on holiday with me you do as I say. I, I think I'd be the latter actually. There'd be I mean, a boot mark on the bum they'd be coming they home. Had, they, had, they ended up in court on charges yeah. of child abandonment. Do you think it makes a difference whether it's um, <laughs> whether it's a boy or a girl? Do you think we're feeling a little less kind of stressed about it all because it was a boy but if it was a teenage girl that was yeah, left I, behind? I, I would, so. would, would you think it, what would you do if your 17 year old daughter and I think it makes you know it makes you shudder the thought of it suddenly turns around and says oh look sorry I've fallen in love with the waiter I'm staying here you go. Oh, then, 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 then I would would get her in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, and sit on her all the way home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I'm, maybe it's different cultures, I don't know, because in this country, we're... Uh, Pretty much at 16, I think, kids now are their own mm. person, aren't they? They have yeah. their own rights. They can leave home if they want to without us having any power over them. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. Don't do it again. If you're watching. All right. Well, as Mark says, our girls aren't even going to be allowed to go to the corner shop until they're 35. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be okay. You're going to be all right.